Hello everyone, I'm Brazen Eagle. Thanks for joining me here. So, if you didn't know, yesterday, March 8th, 2019, was International Women's Day. Now, if you're like me, and you love women, and you know, I love women so much, I celebrated that day in honor of the women who have contributed greatly to our current society. I want to share with you three women that have made a real difference in the world that should be upheld as some of the greatest female heroines of our civilization. These are in no particular order, but let's get started with number one. So my number one that I celebrated yesterday was Susan B. Anthony. She pressed hard for women to gain the right to vote without any responsibility, and ultimately, her work paid off. Women were allowed to vote nationally on August 18th, 1920, without needing to sign up for the Selective Service. Susan B. Anthony's work has led us to the great nation of the United States and culture that we have today, which also includes affirmative action for women and jobs over men, that's great, a massive welfare state, and the destruction of the family unit. Thank you very much, Susan B. Anthony, for your work and the work that your successors have given us. Now, for number two, this person is Gloria Steinem, and she's still alive, so we can doubly, you know, express our passion for her. As a woman who was proud to have an abortion by the age of 22 years old, Steinem has worked tirelessly for the privileges that the modern woman enjoys, such as falsely accusing a man of sexual assault or sexual harassment, such as in Clarence Thomas's case, promoting the cause for women to abort life in their wombs, and, of course, helping men focus more on themselves without women in their lives, with a phrase she helped popularize, such as, a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. Thank you very much, Gloria Steinem, for showing us men that women only make a man's life more complex and difficult. And now, for my third and final woman that I've chosen to celebrate on March 8th, 2019. And that would be... Call Me Kate, Caitlyn Jenner. Being born a man and having ultimately fully transitioned into a woman was so stunning and absolutely brave. She is so influential that she even won Woman of the Year from Glamour Magazine in 2015. You know you are a real woman when you are awarded that title. She is so inspiring that she gave up her white male privilege to become a fierce woman. To solidify, though, that she really is a real woman, she accidentally crashed her car into another person and killed the driver. She cannot be more womanly than that. So, those were my top three women that I celebrated yesterday. Honorable mentions from our time include... Spend all the money, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, what difference does it make, Hillary Clinton, and my life is pretty good, so let's screw it up, Betty Friedan. I hope you enjoyed this little video and celebrated International Women's Day like me. Thank you very much, I am Brazen Eagle, and I hope you have a great woman-filled day.